yesterday uh city much changed city team now let me tell you mm. teddy walks into the studio uh, i'm doing spot on so he walks and says have you seen what pepe has done pepe is joking pepe is playing around have you seen the team oh this is going to be so bad mm. Uh, mm. <laughs> say something man <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> teddy was full panic mode yes at 4 30 pm mm. full panic mode yeah yeah I, I didn't understand the, the balance in the in the middle of the park. Mm. He he put Lewis, he put uh, Kovacic, uh, Nunes, Nunes on the wing. Yeah. yeah, Nunes should be in the middle of the park. Then Acha wengine wa Bambanya na ukombele. Anyway, uh, we still got a win. It was it was a you could say a dominant win in the last in the final thirds of the game because in the first half I thought ah uh, we we really had we were really pressing this team to 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 uh, in the, in their end, but we just couldn't find the goal. But after the first goal, uh, I thought uh, this game is finally over. Teddy, the first goal mm. came a minute and Se- twenty yeah. seconds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can't say after the first goal. The first so goal was the in the first goal, minute. Sorry, sorry, the second goal. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In my in my head, yeah. In, in that game, I just thought we yes we were controlling the game, but we just couldn't find the goals. And my real problem, my my main problem this season, I'm still keep I'll keep I'll still keep on saying this is our defense. We still keep giving teams chances. You know, Teddy, yeah, if yeah. you win a game 5-1, oh, eh, I encourage you, Teddy, <laughs> Teddy. let me tell you something. No. If you win a game 5-1, eh, nah. say thank you very much. It's nah. a changed team. Mm. It's 5-1. You have improved your goal difference by exactly. 4. In the last two games, you've improved your goal difference by what? By 7? Yeah. Mm. And you are slowly closing that gap. You can't win every game ten nil. It's okay. Five one is fine. It's an easy team. It's a changed team. You got your game easy. Luton give people problems when they want. Yeah. You coasted. I don't think. And you had the coach Robert was. What did he say? It's yeah, the perfect. longest game of football he's ever been involved in. It was so hard. You saw how many touches you had in their box. Yeah. I think eighty something or seventy nine, some yeah. random number like that. You saw how much you dominated the game. You just just, nah. just focus was, was, focus to Madrid. You you. <laughs> And you know, Pep has spoiled you. <laughs> yes, and in yes. a way, you, Pep has spoiled you where you're like, you win 5-1 and you're like, oh, but I'm still unhappy with it. <laughs> it's 5-1. City didn't get out of second gear. It had 70% ball possession. But then even me, when I, I watched, yeah. I, I, I saw the line up, a lineup. There's no way I thought, ah, it's so changed here. Yeah, Luton can get something. It's just, it's City. It, at a camera, it's a few changes here and there. You dominated 5-1. Goal difference improved. And we are in that phase of the season where... You take your three points and move. Take your three mm. points and move. In fact, one of the highlights I thought was yeah. City are slowly eating. You see that goal difference looked yeah, crazy they, big? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they are slowly eating on it. Like they are like, uh-huh, tumechukua nne. Uh-huh, tumechukua. Now it's not as big. Yeah. Yeah, it's now it's something five. like... It's five. Huh? Yeah, 51, 46. You see? So they are slowly eating on it. Like City is slowly eating. They are like, uh-huh, kidogo too. Kid- and they have games where they could add on it when you look at their their, their strategy. They are running, yeah. yeah, so if I was you, I'd be like, I'd be quietly confident. Yeah. I'd worry about other things, but I wouldn't say, oh, but no, it's okay. Let the guys have a shot on goal. It's fine. Is it? yeah. Plus, if you look at the way football is going now, Teddy, it's inevitable. almost all teams seem to have chances at goal. Yeah. This is not four years ago where... If one team is dominant, then there was no... If you notice these days, in almost all the games, yeah, everyone is getting chances. And we spoke about it last week, yeah. where yeah, we yeah, said, yeah. guys, it's like football has changed, where there's a lot more Basketball chaos in chaos. quotes. Yeah. So football is really... So everyone seems to get chances in almost every game. It's not yeah. Kitambo when... This is not it's Spain not of 2010, where they bored you with 1-0, 1-0, 1-0, 1-0, 80% yeah. ball possession. No. So you win 5-1. I actually think your questions should be something like, hmm, Foden was rested. Yeah. What does that mean as far as Foden got rested? Does it mean now he's the he's the big dog compared to KDB? <laughs> like those are the questions you should be worrying about. You know, Vardyol has scored two in two Wildies. with his yeah, weaker with his foot. Weak foot. Yeah. Yeah, uh, why, why, what's going on? Yeah, you know, the, yeah. maybe he finally has gotten to the level we thought he could. Ederson uh, is back. Yes, yes, Ederson is back. <laughs> Kyle Walker was on, on the, the bench. bench. Yeah. Like those are the things. Good things to think about. <laughs> easy, man. Teddy, easy now. Easy yeah. now. Or maybe I'm... I'm no, a... no, you're right. You're right. There, there was no worry playing against Luton Town, especially yeah. a team that had lost so many players in their squad. And you've seen already the form that you have against newly promoted sides. So it's never in doubt that Manchester City are going to win this game. You should be happy. 
that all your guys, the, the dependable guys, the Bernardo Silvers and the Jack Grealish and the Phil Foden so on the bench. And, and Rodri. The, and Rodri, yeah. Rodri. Finally, you won a game for, without Rodri. Yes, yes, yeah. for, for, for a break and too. he got it. So you should be ready now for, for Wednesday and what happens against Real Madrid. When you see City the way they are playing, let's move away from Teddy. Teddy is just nervous for no reason. <laughs> when you see the way City are playing now, do you sort of feel like, where? Hiya. Do you sort of feel like, hiya? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. I still feel they are vulnerable. Especially if you are looking back. Because, okay, for Luton, we expected that you are going to win. And it was convincing they did. And, of course, you are not going to have Matias Nunes doing that, the same era. Maybe he's not going to be on the pitch in big games. The thing about it, when you look at the Real Madrid game, is that they are still vulnerable on counter-attacks. And with their high line of defense, many teams are getting a shot at them. So, vulnerability in defense is making it look, okay, this side can be hurt more. But but back in the days when I was younger, when yeah. a team played at home, that team had the that team was favorized to do yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So in this case, I thought it was the other way around actually. I thought City came in and sort of negated Madrid for most of the game. Actually, if City had a better way of dealing when Modric came on cuz Modric seemed yeah. to change everything, I thought the game so but that's me that's back in the days when you are home you are supposed to be the main guy yes so yeah. rare and this is real madrid this is. is their competition it is but they weren't really uh, they what no well, did they, you understand that this is a respect given to the defending champions who, no who, 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 who beat who, them last season who on are the, the title. owners of the, the champions, champions league they are the owners the but, real but also are, they are the team that dumped them out last time. yes but they are the owners of the champions yeah. league so when they are home you the expect fans. them to be the guys who are setting the agenda. And for most parts of that game, they actually, if Vardiol doesn't get his wires crossed in figuring out why am I marking, am I a centre-back, am I a left-back, mm -hmm. I actually think they walk away with it. Yeah. Oh, that, because uh, Valverde was left open. Yeah, because I thought yes. he was oh, caught in sure. between. He wasn't sure, do I go... Do I, I stay the ball? Yeah, and then he was caught in no man's land. I also wondered where the, the, the left winger was because I thought, oh, then, yeah, he should have dropped. Mm. Yeah, that's all I thought. But I'm like, I just thought it was a... Again, yeah. I don't think... I think the problem is control. I feel like... And I go back. City can no longer control games the way they want to because the rest of the world seems to not want that control. Yeah. And I think that just bothers them. Like that thing of pass, pass, pass. It just doesn't work anymore. And once it doesn't work, they struggle. Uh -huh. Like they are not, like they are caught in between. Yes. It's, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's also a flow that you see. in my No, life. it's just life. Like they're we had Mourinho and his defensive football. It was great. Like I keep telling you guys, 203, 204, 205, 206, the world refused. Mm. Mm. Then the world went to Tiki Taka. Tiki -taka, tiki -taka, tiki -taka, tiki -taka. Then now the world is refusing this thing of controlling games. Mm. These things where you know the world is saying we are going end to end. Yeah. Yeah. We are not defending. Ponch, uh, 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 Emery, Unai Emery doesn't defend. Postecoglou doesn't defend. Yeah. And now the whole Chelsea for most don't seem to defend. No one seems to defend. Yes. And yeah. the, the world is just changing. So there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. It's, I feel like I feel like we're just at the end of a cycle and we are starting another one. Okay. Yeah. The same way we didn't want strikers for most of the tens. Yes. And now we all want strikers. Okay. And you think okay. so City also, stuck? Uh, the, when Kutua, the away goals rule. Mm. Uh, I really miss the away goals it, rule. It also affects that. Yes, it affects yeah, it because now the away goals don't, don't matter, matter much. much exactly. Back in the days, City yeah. would have a... A, a big really, advantage. Yeah, a big yeah, advantage. Exactly. Now they don't. Yes. Yeah. Barca would have a huge advantage because yes. they won 3-2, three, three, but now they Paris, don't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so to your question, you're asking about Manchester City or whether you feel like right now they are... Yeah, on, yeah. On when top, you look on, at them play, do you think they have so, finally gotten into... So so on that on, on that level, you... To end the Sasa. You, no. you somehow level the playing field in regards to them being vulnerable on counter-attacks and them conceding the amount They've of... They've always been vulnerable on counter-attacks. They played Real Madrid without some of their key guys. Yeah. Okay? They they was, I, especially defensively. Yeah, yeah. Kyle Walker, so, of course, is a big... So move. they will struggle, yeah. yes. But the fact that Vinny ended up being subbed says something about about just how they were able to shackle him. Mm -hmm. If they can figure out what to do when Modric is introduced, I think they'll be okay. Okay. Actually, yeah. I came out of that game with more faith in them than I had before. Hmm. Yes, remember when I when we spoke about his air, I was like, I'm not very sure City yeah. will be able to. But then I saw them, and I was like, Yeah, and it, nice. And coincidentally, it was the game that it was expected Bellingham would show something, but, but he ended up being lost in the field. For a neutral, I thought this was one. This was one of the best games they, they would have seen. But for 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 supporters of either teams, I thought this was one of the worst games because conceding three 
three goals at such at a, at such a stage is it's tough for for any team because if you concede and you know the second leg is going to, uh, you're going away it's going to be tough for you as for, as for city i thought the first the first goal was a mistake the first and the second goal were mistakes that have yes. been prevented yes yes mm. and just the way madrid set up was made it so hard for city to control the game and as for now f- this season i think city are in some kind of transition they don't know whether to control the game just go all out they want to t- control but the world is refused to control mm. so they want to control but football nowadays doesn't seem to have that yeah, kind of control so they're still trying to know but the world is saying ah, yeah. mm-hmm. and in terms of uh like you said pep has brought back the number nines right now we uh city don't have full backs to perform with they only have center backs who are really good on one-on-ones and we saw that with vini and i thought i looked at uh, what ancelotti said after the game he said that they made a sacrifice for vini to play in the center so that rodrigo would be the the the, the attacking part of the team okay. and i thought yeah. it worked on their end but mm-hmm. it only came at uh it came at uh it came as a substitution for for Bellingham because he wasn't able to perform to his best the way he usually does in that game yeah maybe also the quality just went up eh? yeah like, I, I, like I, now he's dealing with Rodri it's not the same as uh, whichever team they played yesterday yeah so Maloka I, I, <laughs> I, I wanted to ask this question uh on you because okay I, Haaland scored yesterday of mm. course and he has a good number mm. of goals mm. Are you concerned that in most games he's looking like a spectator in big games? The the Haaland's problem is the fact that his overall game is not great. Yeah. His overall game is not the quality of his finishing. Mm. Mm. His finishing is world class. But his overall input in a game is not great especially when yeah. there's no KDB to give him those through passes. Yeah. So he struggles when things are not coming that way. He doesn't know how to affect the game when there are not many chances. And I take you back to that video Andre did, was it last season, and where he showed him and then he showed Benzema and Harry Kane. Yeah. He showed how they are involved in the build up. He is a he really is a pure old school nine. Put the ball in the box. Unfortunately, football is not like that now yet. We haven't gone back there yet. Yeah. So It's two things. Either football will go back there or he has to improve his yeah. link up play, he's showing up because what happens is when he plays versus a because everyone has been saying oh Saliba had him in the pocket, um Liverpool. Rudiger had him in the pocket, VVD, but rather than just those guys having him in the pocket is the way those guys disrupted City's midfield yeah. and reduced the chances they can create for him. Yes. And when those chances are not there, he doesn't know how to affect. he doesn't have the ability yet of of affecting the game at that level. Mm-hmm. So he needs to to develop his all-round game. He probably has the worst touch of any city player in the first 11. Yeah. It's quite possible, including Ederson. <laughs> okay. I think he has the worst. And it's not a bad bad but I think he has the worst. And I think that affects him. If he can learn how to get involved in the game, if he can learn how to drop, how to hold yeah. the ball, how to turn, how to I think he'd be a better player. He'd become a more rounded player, but he needs to develop that side of his game. So and yes so so for this moment in 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 such instances when they have to play against teams that of course they they distrib- they disrupt that distribution can Manchester City ride on Phil Foden being the the brilliant man and scoring all this uh, yes they have to because look last season let's go back to last season how many goals did he score in the semi in the final Haaland no and no. uh, in the FA Cup yeah it was all yeah. good he doesn't yeah. Yeah. if you go back to last season he doesn't yes He do- so it's not something new. We are talking like it's only new this season. Yeah. But he doesn't score. He doesn't score in those very big games because he has that shortcoming. So he has to develop it. Remember Luis Suarez when he first started shining yeah. at Liverpool, yeah. one of the complaints was what? He doesn't show up in the big games. And then slowly he started showing up in the big games. Yeah. So I guess it's also a matter of as you develop and mature, but also how you develop as a player. Because last season it's not like Haaland was scoring the 1-0. No. 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 It's still KDB, it's still Gundo, yeah. it's it's the older man, it's Bernardo Silva, it's those guys. Then now he shows up to sort of put the gloss. I just thought on that. I think Pep is also counting on it because even after the, the I keep looking at these inter post interviews of the game. And he said that Haaland doing what he does uh, especially in the big games helps the midfield uh, get more uh, get free because we've seen in the big games we always say Haaland doesn't uh, doesn't perform yes but he gives opportunities to the midfielders because in all the games in all the big games that City uh, are in who are the guys who score the midfielders Gundogan mm-hmm. in the final 
um who else rodri in the in the uh, inter milan game foden in this uh away yeah, game Madrid, yep. yeah. it mm. helps because he is able to distract the, the, the defenders mm. yes mm. so it gives more space actually there players. are two players who haven't showed up in the biggest city games Haaland, of course yes. and kdb yep. yes kdb mm. yeah they for some reason but because they are so talented mm. Rodri shows up, Gundo showed up. Yeah, someone else shows yeah. up. So it's not really a big. It's not like if United Bruno doesn't show up, you're, you're done. Yeah. They have options. Someone